Hi, I'm Alex Mojica Ortiz from Bronx Academy for Software Engineering. I am a sophomore um, and I'm here to talk to you about what my school is doing throughout this pandemic or one of the things that my school is doing throughout this pandemic. Um, so in my school we practice transformative justice that means we also do circles tier one tier two and tier three tier one being uh community building tier two being response to harm and tier three being re-entry circles re-entry into the community um so to make the transition into virtual learning as smooth as possible we also try to integrate social emotional support circles um and the agenda that i will have linked um you can see that we are separating these by grades um staff and students are welcome um then we have circle co-planning um all the planning stuff um we have debriefs after each circle to make sure that how to highlight all the things that we did well and to see what we can improve upon to make the next circle even better um so One of the agendas, the most recent ones, is Support Circle, Collective Grieving and Loss. Um, this one was a really hard topic to talk about and some people didn't want to take a part in this. And we, these aren't circles that are forced upon students. These are circles that are optional. If you want to come, you can come. If not, it's completely fine. You can come to another one if you want. Um, so we always start off with norms. We to make sure that everybody's respecting each other's privacy. We ask that you put on headphones. We ask that you angle your device at an angle that no one else can look over your shoulder and see who's there. And um, we also as we also invite them to use the chat function if they don't feel safe talking about something out loud since they are at home. Um, they could just type it and someone will read it out loud, will read it out loud when there's a pause. Um, then we always start um, with asking for name, pronouns, and, a stop, and an opener. We do that to make everybody feel comfortable to make sure that we are using a person's correct names and pronouns. And the opener is just to just like smooth things out while we go into the deep things. Um, then we ask something most of the time it will be something that might be perceived as negative but we also best balance it out as with something positive like what's something you gain from it and this one um particular we asked what's one thing that has stayed the same for you throughout the change and what's one thing that you may have lost that's really important to you or person um then we went into psychoeducation this time was about grief um and the stages of grief. Um, you can do, do your own research on that if you want. It's also in the agenda. Um, then we when we always ask after the psychoeducation, we always add a question after to check for understanding and also for people to reflect on themselves. This time was when it's a time in your life when you've experienced one of these stages. Um, then we asked, um, other questions um that it, this one was a little bit deep so it's a little more in depth um yeah and then we always close it out like we always by the end we try to bring up positive things and then by the end of it we do a closer um we do a transition to the closer and then we do a closer um it's important to note that everybody should know that you don't have to share if you don't want to share you don't have to you could just say pass and a physical circle we would just pass the talking piece but since we're doing this virtually um we could just straight up say pass um quick psa please remember to wear your mask when you're going outside stay safe people so that is all um and for now, I'll leave you off with some Pat Bunny. Oh, yeah. I,